Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg, and here we have my two iPads. The one on the left is the 3G, the one on the right is the Wi-Fi only model. Today I want to do a network speed test. So since we have the opportunity to test two iPads side by side, let's go ahead and see just how fast the 3G network is compared to my local Wi-Fi. Using the speed test app from the iPhone, let's go ahead and do a speed test of the 3G and the local Wi-Fi network. Of course, uh, since this is an iPhone app, it's asking if I'm using the Edge or 3G network. I'm going to say 3G, of course. Okay, that's done already. Okay, we're finished. Now we can see that my local Wi-Fi network has an average speed of about 5 megs a second with an average upload speed of about 750 uh, megs per second, while the 3G had an average of about 2700 down and 280 up. But look at how high the latency was at 1165 milliseconds. Latency on the Wi-Fi network was only 40 milliseconds. Because 3G performance is pretty inconsistent, let's run one more test. So we can see performance is much better on the 3G in the second test with a 133 millisecond latency and performance on the Wi-Fi is about the same. First test we're going to do is Safari and we're going to try loading the Apple page. So let's go to Safari and let's go ahead and load the Apple page. I'm going to try to hit this at the exact same time. So of course Wi-Fi is faster. Let's try another page just for good measure. Let's go to Amazon. All right, again, Wi-Fi is faster. So let's do one more page. Let's do Wikipedia. So 3G is actually pretty good, um, although it, it does seem to load fast, but latency is longer with 3G. Okay, now that we've tested some web pages, let's do an app. Let's try the Weatherbug app. They seem to be pretty close right now. Yeah, they're not too far apart. This one renders a little faster. Pretty good. Let's try another app. Let's do Leo Laporte's TwitPad. Once again, the Wi-Fi is noticeably faster, and we're already playing the video. What job is this robot supposed to do? Let's put them in that simulated environment, and then... Okay, let me try my VNC app. This will remotely connect to my iMac. Obviously, performance on the 3G is a lot slower, and unfortunately, this app is a little buggy. I have to find a replacement. Okay, let's try YouTube. Now, YouTube 
does behave differently when it's running on 3G versus Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, let's load my recent uh, iPad 3G unboxing. Of course, the Wi-Fi is playing already. Hello, YouTube. It's Detroit Borg today. And now the 3G is, is loading. And the iPad 3G has finally Let's turn it down. As you can see, the YouTube video on 3G has been scaled down quite a bit and is very low quality. Okay, so we can see that there's this distinct performance difference with 3G on YouTube. Let's try another app. Let's do the ABC Player app. So let's click. Okay, now when I try clicking the video, it says please connect to a Wi-Fi network to use this application. Cellular networks are not supported at this time. So unfortunately, the ABC Player app will not work. So once again, that's Detroit Board. Please rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching.